The whole purpose of today's video is to actually show you that injectors can actually stop working at a low millisecond because it may take the impedance of the injector, uh, the uh, latency of the injector, will actually play a big part in whether they can be driven at a very low millisecond. Customers complaining about a surge at cruise at light throttle. So what we did, we put the laptop in the car, we went for a drive. With the air fuel ratio meter on, we were noticing air fuel ratios jumping from anywhere from 17 down to 12. On the indicator on the laptop, nothing was changing in the uh, fuel delivery. We were still seeing about two milliseconds of fuel being delivered. So we removed the injectors, uh, brought them over to Sabin Automotive here and we ran them up on the test bench. We can actually run the milliseconds down and check the injectors. And we ran the injectors down to an idle scenario and also at a cruise scenario of around about the two to 2.1 milliseconds. And it was actually very amazing on what we saw. We actually saw the injectors drop out as we dropped the milliseconds. We got down to about 2.3, 2.4 milliseconds and we started to lose spray patterns on one, one of the injectors. We went down to 2.2 milliseconds and we lost spray pattern on two more injectors. So what this pointed out to us was that the injectors were not able to flow at two milliseconds, even though they're a good injector, they worked at a wide open throttle, they worked at power um, settings, they just wouldn't work at that very low millisecond driving. The result being that we actually end up putting another set of injectors in of a actually a bigger uh, CC rating, but had more control down low. On the test bench here, we've got the four injectors. There may be people out there saying they're just dirty injectors. We've actually run these injectors through an ultrasonic cleaner to actually make sure they weren't dirty and, that, and nothing else improved. So we're running this test bench at 42 PSI, uh, which is what we wanted to simulate what the car was actually on. So the car was on 42 PSI. So we've got 42 PSI and we've got five milliseconds of fuel. Now five milliseconds is the duration that the injector is open. All right, now I'm going to bring them down slowly. Um, that's four and a half milliseconds of, right, down to three milliseconds. And as you can see, they're, they're, they're fairly even on their delivery, fuel delivery. So at 2.4 milliseconds, you can actually see, we've still got flow in this injector. This one here is only just opening. You can actually see that, it, that it's not even disturbing the, uh, the fluid in the bottom. And the same as this one here is hardly even disturbing it. So we've only really got two injectors working at 2.4 milliseconds. 2.3 milliseconds. This, this one is almost non-existent. It's hardly even working. This one has shut down to about half value. This one is only about 25% yeah, value. Go down to 2.2. We've still got just a squirt out of that one. We've really only got one injector working. Down to 2.1 where we were trying to work, run the car and we really have almost no injection. So what was happening was basically at 2.1 milliseconds, we had no fuel delivery. This didn't alter if we give it less fuel pressure or more, that doesn't affect um, these injectors. It can some, but it didn't affect these injectors. The result is basically get the injectors tested at a known reputable injector tester because they can run the injector down and test it at that time. So I guess what, what we're trying to say to people is that you can actually have a fuel problem even though the injectors are not faulty, they're just not right for that scenario.